Ashes for Gold, A Tale from Mexico, retold by Catherine Maitland. Ashes for Gold. Once there were two men. Pancho was poor and not very smart. Tommaso was clever. What is this? Pancho asked. I sold ashes for money, said Tommaso. See? But Tommaso was playing a trick. He had sold flour, not ashes. Pancho, you should sell ashes too. So Pancho ran off to gather ashes from his fireplace. It was a long walk into town. Ashes for sale, cried Pancho, and people stared at him. Ashes for sale, sir, 1,000 pesos. Are you crazy, said the man. So Pancho walked on. Ashes for sale, sir, 500 pesos. Are you crazy, said the man. No one wanted to buy his ashes. Pancho walked and walked. Finally, he came to the town square. Sir, I will sell you this bag of ashes for one peso. One peso, the man cried. Your ashes are worth nothing. This fool's mask is what you get. Ha 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 ha, laughed the people. Look at the fool. Poor Pancho. Tommaso had played a trick of him, on him. Cold and hungry, Pancho headed home. In the distance, he saw a campfire. Were those banditos? Pancho was afraid, but he was too tired to care. The banditos welcomed him. Later, Pancho woke up shivering. He pulled out the mask and covered his face to keep it warm. One of the banditos woke up and saw the horrible face. Ay! He screamed, run for your lives! Aye, aye, they cried. Pancho woke up, frightened. He ran after the banditos. Wait for me, he yelled. But it was too late. The banditos had disappeared into the night. My mask, thought Pancho. My mask must have scared the banditos. And slowly, Pancho walked back to the campfire. And he saw a bag the banditos had left. What is in the bag, he thought. <gasps> gold! He saw two more bags. Gold! Gold! Pancho jumped up and down. I am rich! And Pancho returned home. Close to his hut, he met Tommaso. Ashes, asked Tommaso. I sold the ashes, said Pancho. Tommaso could not believe his eyes. Ashes for gold? Well, now Pancho was a rich man, and never again was he hungry or cold. And what do you think Tommaso did? Do you think he's trying to sell ashes? Like all people, Mexicans love to laugh at silly stories like ashes for gold. Such noodle head tales are told for fun and to teach people to laugh at themselves when they are tricked or make mistakes. Noodle head tales are told around the world. In the United States, people tell about the adventures of Silly Willy. In Africa, stories are told about a foolish man named Jamoko, who tr tricks a trickster, Anansi the spider. In Italy, people talk about Big Anthony, who makes everyone laugh without ever knowing why. In the Plains, Indians tell many tales about a silly man named Tommy. In Ashes for Gold, the artist uses the bright colors and patterns of Mexico. The characters wear colorful clothes like Mexicans wore long ago. The colors of the design around the pages match the colors in the pictures. And the bright patterns are also very popular. And they are still used on clothes worn for traditional celebrations today, like see her skirt. So bright and colorful and beautiful. Mexico is a beautiful country. It has tall mountains and leafy trees in some parts and deserts with prickly cactuses in others. 
People make the country even more beautiful by putting baskets and pots of flowers everywhere. Mexico City, the capital of Mexico, has the largest population in the world. It is a very modern city, but the colors and patterns of old Mexico can be seen all around. Even skyscrapers are sometimes decorated with paintings called murals, which show how Mexicans lived long ago. Many people today live in mountain villages. Their homes often have orange tile roofs and are made of special clay bricks called adobe. At busy outdoor markets, women and men sell the brightly colored toys, treat-filled piñatas, clay figures, and wood carvings they have made. See the piñatas? And there he is. As they would say in Mexico, Adios, amigos.